My name is Michael Rand. I'm an associate professor in the School of Communication. Uh, my principal areas are journalism and uh, digital media, and I also do documentaries. Um, I want to thank Dr. Neuendorf, Dr. Kim Kimberly Neuendorf, and Dr. Evan Lieberman for putting this all together. Um, so our focus today is on storytelling and storytellers. And the storytellers we have today are all documentarians. The real story, documentary filmmaking, is the title of our panel. So I'm going to ask our panelists to try and tell us all the nitty gritty when we get to the various points about documentary filmmaking. Let me introduce them. I'll start at the far end. Um, our first panelist is Sally Rowe. Her film is A Mouthful. That's actually a matter of taste now. It's what? It's called A Matter of Taste. A Matter of it. Taste? Yeah, we changed the name. Okay, all right. The other one was a working title? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. And then Kim Snyder, whose film is Welcome to Shelbyville. And then uh, husband and wife documentary team, um, Joke Finciun. Yes. I got it. I got it right. Yes. Okay. And Biagio Messina. Um, their film, Dying to Letter, uh, Dying to Do Letterman, as a matter of fact, got a really nice write-up in the Friday section of the Plain Dealer. If you want to take a little look at it, um, you've been getting a lot of publicity lately. You made uh, uh, the Fox affiliate here in town too. I saw that interview. Um, yeah, been very fortunate. Cleveland's been very good to us. I've <laughs> <laughs> been very fortunate. And um, then, of course, um, Khalil LaBelle, Beyond This Place. That's, That's right. the name of your film, right? Yes, Khalil. And, Khalil. LaBelle. Khalil. Khalil. Yeah. Khalil. Okay. And uh, finally, an archivist from the Library of Congress, George Willimon. And. Uh, I'm not a documentarian, but I play one on television. <laughs> <laughs> okay, documentaries, as you know, run a full gamut. Okay, we've got everything from Ken Burns to Michael Moore and everything in between. We've even spawned a new genre called the mockumentary, uh, Spinal Tap, and probably the most famous of all being the BBC's um, April 1st, April Fool's Day, uh, a mockumentary on film that was done in the late 1950s on the spaghetti harvest in Switzerland. Uh, so documentaries of and by themselves are serious business. Um, I'd like to start off by asking our filmmakers, and we can start at the other end and just kind of work down, to ask what in their minds separates documentaries from fiction films? Well, a doc isn't scripted. I mean, well, some people write a... Yeah, Peter, speak some, up. some people write a treatment, but I, I didn't write a treatment for my film. Um, so a doc is, is... And I had a lot of verite in my film, so you're, you, you choose your subject and you hope... You know that you think that this is an interesting subject and you go out and you hope that something's going to happen on camera when you're shooting, but um, a, a feature, a fiction film is a scripted uh, A to B to C, so I guess that would be my answer. Well, I'll, I, I guess I'll go with the, the opposite answer, which is I often think of what what is the same. And for me, <clears throat> the things that are the same are good casting or good good subjects, which have to be the same whether it's fiction or documentary, and um, a story arc that takes an audience from beginning to middle to end. And uh, so I'm really not answering your question, but I think a lot that um, that storytelling is storytelling, whether it's it's um, narrative fiction or nonfiction, and uh, and you, you still need those key ingredients to um, to sort of separate yourself out to why people would commit to sit for you know, 90 or 120 minutes to see your film. Um, but having said that, I think that the, for me, the process of documentary filmmaking, the freedom of being able to find the story along the way um, and to shift course is really the key um, thing that attracts me um, to documentary filmmaking and being able to, to find that story and, uh, and, and think you're starting out with one thing and end up in a completely different place. 
Um, I, I, we consider ourselves storytellers first, and um, to us, documentary is one of the mediums in which we tell stories, and so uh, for it to really work for us as a documentary, that has to be the medium where, you know, the story is best told. So for me, that means that it is so real and it is so uh, amazing where people probably wouldn't believe it if it was scripted. And um, there's something truly spectacular about seeing real people go through extraordinary things and um, they will say and do things you would never expect. And that's both inspiring and frightening or, you know, whatever the story is. <clears throat> yeah, I think for me, I was... <laughs> in my way, way young filmmaking days, like, wow, a documentary? I can go out and shoot without a script? This is awesome. Like, I can be shooting right now. Of course, you know, what you learned in the long run is that, you know, doc is so much harder, I think, than scripted. Uh, you know, on the occasions we have done a scripted project, like, wow, this is so easy, um, compared to going out and having no idea uh, where your story is going to lead. I do think one thing that I, I thought you were going to touch on, to me, the biggest difference between scripted and unscripted comes down to the non-creative side, the, the budgeting and scheduling, um, because I feel that if you have a really great idea for a documentary, something something that's going to take a while, nobody in their right mind is going to fund you, which means that you really better you know have the skills to go out and do 80 to 90, if not 100% of the work yourself, if it's something you're passionate about. Uh, because if you have a project that's going to roll on for five, six, seven years, who's going to fund that? You are. So I th to me, that's what sets documentary apart from scripted in some cases, is that I feel the best docs are real passion projects because no one will make it except for you. That's it. <laughs> yes. Um, I think that for me, I don't really distinguish between fiction and documentary. I think about, I think about filmmaking and what's filmmaking. And it has to do a lot with storytelling. It has a lot to do with um, the dramatic arc. What, what do I really want to tell, and how, how am I going to tell it? And of course, that you know, we try and distinguish between okay, these are actors and these are non-actors. But then you have fiction films, which are also using non-actors, and you have documentaries that are incorporating, you know, actors or reenactments. Let's say if it's the Thin Blue Line or or whatever. But does that make it less a documentary just because it's using an enactment. So for me, I don't really distinguish as much. I think the biggest distinguish, distinguishing factor between the two for me is uh, budgets. It's if you're submitting for a documentary, your budget is this big. If you're submitting for a fiction film, your, your, your budget is this big. And that's where it starts. So I have to decide in the beginning, OK, is this a documentary or is this a fiction film? But I think in the end, it's really about storytelling for me, and the most important factor for me, whether it's fiction or documentary, is authenticity, is what I'm interested in, telling authentic stories, not real fact stories, and documenting them with the camera. It's telling something that's, that, that speaks real. I've, I've got to ask the archivist, other than separating them into categories, what's your view? My, well, my personal view anyways, uh, listening to everyone else, uh, you know, when I started, I, yeah, I had a great answer, and now it's like, well. <laughs> um, no, I truly, I, I, I concur with, with pretty much what everything else said. Um, I was trying to sit here thinking, and a good documentary, well, see, it's got a great story, it's got good characters, it's well shot, it's got, you know, the, and well, so does a great fictional film, so... Uh, so there really aren't that many differences. You might have in a documentary where more of the characters in the film are who are in the film who they are in real life as opposed to a fictional film but again there are examples where that doesn't happen so um, so no I mean a good film is a good film no matter what it is likewise a bad film is ain't nothing but a bad film you know so might be a good comedy